Sample problem 19.3. Predict what redox reaction will take place if any when molecular bromine, Br2, is added to A, a one molar solution of NaI, sodium iodide, and B, a one molar solution of NaCl, sodium chloride, assume a temperature of 25 degrees C. Okay? Remember, 25 degrees C and one molar is so that we can use the standard reduction potential. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take bromine, and that's what we're adding. And we're either going to add it to, I guess let's do it this way. We'll add it to sodium iodide, which is iodide. The sodium is not a factor in here. Um, it's the iodide that's important. And then in the second one, in part B, we're going to add it to the chloride. Okay. Again, the sodium is not important here. Um, what we're really just asking us is whether a reaction will take place. So here's what happens. If you go down to the table, and let's begin with the bromine because that's our first reactant, bromine. Here are the two ingredients or the two substances that are associated with bromine. There's bromine and bromide. So when you look at these tables, the left side is the oxidized form, and the right side is the reduced form. So in this problem, they say we have bromine, Br2. So if the bromine will react, if it reacts, there's only one thing it can turn into, and that would be the bromide. So really what they're asking is, when you add bromine to those other reactants, will they react and form bromide. And your answer has to do with these potentials, 1.07 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. Let's make that a little smaller. And I'm going to say, hey, you know, we've got bromine. The question is, is it going to do this? Right, and there's our information that we have about bromine. So here's how you tell. Let's take the iodide first. We have iodide. So actually, I'm not going to write it down yet. I'm just going to come look for iodine here. And here's iodine. I2, I, 2I minus 0.53 volts. So I'm going to come back over here. I2, 2 electrons, 2I minus 0 0.53 volts. So if the bromine reacted, it's higher up. This one would be the cathode, and this one would be the anode, right? The one that has a more positive is a cathode. Now, the way this table is set up is it's assuming everything in that table is a cathode, meaning this is the cathode, this is the cathode. But the one that's higher up is the actual cathode. So that means that this reaction will occur if you combine it with this. You can't combine it with that, but if you combine it with this, it will react to become bromide because this voltage is higher than this voltage. Okay, so here's what happens. The bromine reacts with the iodide to form bromide and iodine. Right? That's what's going to happen. And it's going to happen because the bromine is higher in voltage, higher in potential than the iodine. So the answer is yes. Do they ask us to actually predict what's going to happen? Well, there we go. We just did it right there. The bromine will react with the iodide in order to form bromide and iodine. But now what about the other one? What about the chloride? The problem here is that chloride is higher up than bromine. So here, this one's going to be the cathode. So the issue here is can the bromine react with chloride? I forgot to write down the voltage, sorry. The voltage there is uh, 1.36 volts. Okay, now here's the issue. This one's lower down, right? It's 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07. 1.07
Okay, this one's low. I don't want to put it right there because that's the overall. It's 1.07. This one's 1.36. So the bromine cannot oxidize the chloride. So you get no reaction here. Okay, so there's your answer.